Hey everybody, I trust everyone is well. Uh, today's video is, a, is just a, a question and answer, which is just a single question, because the answer is quite lengthy. But this comes from Jerry, he says, Have you thought about doing a video on the pros and cons of section hiking, lashing, and through hiking? I think that would be very helpful since you are in a situation where you turned a through hike into a lash. Uh, happy trails, Jerry. <clears throat> and for those who are relatively new to the channel, yes, in 2016 I started out on a through hike on uh, March the 3rd and I did 931 miles up to Luray, Virginia where I had to get off for uh, what we thought eventually was colon cancer. It turned out to be uh, just a false alarm and was colitis, but uh, healing up took me out uh, <coughs> of the, of the uh, of the rhythm for that year and uh, so I went back in 2017 and started back up on Luray and got about another 450 miles before I had to get off for what turned out to be a torn Achilles tendon so so in both instances the first one was a through hike the other one was a through hike that I was going to do as a flip-flop and I've had to turn both those experiences into what we call a lash or a long ass section hike <clears throat> so what I'd like to do is I'll, like, I'll break this up into those three different hikes and go through maybe some of the pros and the cons. Now granted, uh, these are just my ideas of what the, some of the pros and cons were and I think there's a lot of you out there that have experience along these, these lines and could help the through hiking community out by adding your tens, two cents worth down below. So please feel free to do that. <clears throat> Let's start off with uh, through hiking. What are some of the pros? Well, first of all, I think it, it provides an opportunity to accomplish a life-changing event. Um, and if you can, you know, just th think about the, the amount of effort that it goes through financially and physically and emotionally to be able to do a 2,000-plus mile hike. There's, uh, plenty of, there's plenty of uh, time to process any personal issues you may be struggling with. Uh, after all, you spend a lot of time just by yourself and within your own mind. So there's plenty of opportunities there for you to, to go through and, uh, and, uh, and think about the things that are bothering you and the ways you want to improve in life. You have time uh, for your body to turn into a hiker body. That, that's kind of nice. Now women, uh, you tend to un end up at the end of a through hike with the model of a bot, uh, the body of a model, uh, which is not so much for the guys. That's kind of in the, we'll talk about that in the, in the, in the cons here. Um, now, finding hiking buddies can be uh, can, can turn out to be lifetime lifetime friends, and, and you get to enjoy the tag of calling yourself a through hiker. Now, what are some of the cons? <clears throat> well, it's a huge time commitment. It's usually a minimum of four months for some of the really fast hikers. The rest of us, six to seven months on the trail, might be me more like it. Um, if you don't find if you find that you don't like yourself. Uh, time will be punishing over that period of time. Uh, it can get boring doing the same thing day after day after day and sometimes that's just what takes people off the trail. And uh, <clears throat> down below I'll put a, a link to a recent video that uh, Early Riser 71 did where he gives um, talks about the different phases of uh, the through hike and, 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 and three things that you can do to, to help make your through hike successful. And also down below uh, Dixie uh, Wonderlust over Wonderlust Overland. No, Wonderlust Homemade Wonderlust. There you go. Uh, just did a uh, <clears throat> also a video on the ten mistakes that through hikers make. Um, so he said anyway. So yeah, it can get boring doing the same thing day after day after day. And and I think that really what takes a lot of people off the trail. That the people that make it to um, probably through at least uh, to Damascus and maybe through most of Virginia, maybe even towards the end of Virginia, they kind of get to Harper's Ferry and just say, you know what, uh, this is this is getting boring, I, I'm not going to do this anymore. Or, hey, I've worked out whatever I came out to work out. Um, let's see. Um, <clears throat> one of the cons of doing a through hike, it can get awkward to separate yourself from the toxic hikers that are walking about the same speed that you are. Okay? And uh, sometimes it gets a little awkward to try and separate yourself from those people that you're not really enjoying being around. Uh, guys, girls may end up with this perhaps as a little more of a problem because you might have some people out there that are just, if I, were, if I use the word leech, do you understand what I'm talking about? They're kind of leeching along. And guys, uh, you'll have problems consuming body, body muscle mass, okay? Um, 
as and you'll end up pretty des uh, pretty um, uh, emaciated at the end, P like a, like a, you've been a starved POW. Okay, and that's that's pretty hard on your body. <clears throat> now, as far as money goes, you know you need to plan. Uh, it's roughly two dollars a mile, but at least probably about a thousand a month you need to plan on for your for your through hike. Okay. Now let's talk about lashing. And once again, these are these are long section hikes. Let's let's uh, let's talk a little bit about definitions. So uh, you know, because you can have a through hike of the you went the Hotline Trail, and that's about 100 miles, and that's that's that that may be just getting to the point where you can have that be a really good section hike. Okay, so so for the purpose of this through hiking, let's define the through hike as being at least 2,000 miles. Okay, for these particular pros and cons. All right, <clears throat> and the lash. Let's let's say the lash is. Um, Let's let's call it about a 300 mile hike, and then anything less than that we'll call it like a section hike, to up to include. Um, but not what we do is as weekend warriors where you might go up to a trailhead and you hike a you hike a circuit around and come back to the same trailhead and leave. Let's not call that a section hike. That's just you know that's just a good backpacking trail. But let's define a section hike as being from trailhead to trailhead along that continuous path of a trail that um, would normally be like a through hike if you were able to hike the whole thing you know like you know for example like a Pinhoti or a, a Colorado Trail or a Arizona Trail you know you can do sections of that matter of fact the, the, here the Colorado Trail is actually divided up into segments um, as part of its its organization of the trail <clears throat> okay back to lashing some of the pros um, the time commitment is less, but it's still long enough to get a lot of miles in. Okay, and it may be it may be compatible with vacation schedules, but most likely the employer uh, may have to let you take some extra unpaid time off to be able to get that three to four weeks in to be able to get a good long hike in. Okay, um, now for long enough, you have the ability to maybe get some trail legs under you. Uh, Sir Pax a lot who owns the. Hiawassee uh, Hostel, or the, the top of Georgia Hostel in Hiawassee. Um, he says it takes about 300 miles for your muscles to get used to backpacking and another long distance backpacking and another uh, 600 miles for your tendons to adjust. So, you know, so you could say that you can get your trail legs between three to 600 miles. By the time I hit 900 miles and got off in Luray, Virginia, I'm not sure I really ever had my hiker legs, to be honest with you. So each person's different. Uh, my friend Brett felt that he was all the way up in New England before he actually got his, his trail legs under him. Um, okay, now the weight loss for guys may not be quite as unhealthy doing a lash. Um, now girls, if you go out to, to do a, a, a long lash in hopes of losing a lot of weight, you may find yourself frustrated because you'll be putting on muscle mass and with the fat coming off, it weighs less, and so you actually you might actually have a little bit of a weight gain, and that may be frustrating to you. But just realize you're actually toning up, and your your body image will actually get better. Um, <clears throat> now you can you can you can through hike or lash in two legs to get shorter. So in other words, you can put a couple lashes together and actually finish a whole through hike in a year. Like the Benhoti, the Colorado Trail, Arizona Trail, there's a whole bunch of other ones out there, Benton Mackay, Chateau Trace, you know, so there's 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 a lot of trails out there that maybe in two lashes you might be able to actually get a through hike done within that, that twelve month period of time. Okay, so what are some of the cons of doing a lash? Well you're gonna have higher transportation costs because you have to be, be rotating back from the trail and then back out to the trail again so you can have higher transportation costs and about the time you start making some hiking friends you got to leave them and so I, I kind of look at that as a con because some people really enjoy that association and would like to continue to have it on the on the trail so um, financially though the same thing applies you know, about two dollars a mile and about a thousand dollars a month now let's talk a little bit about section hiking um, some of the pros of section hiking, it's a lot easier on the body, okay? It's how most people have to do their backpacking because of work commitments, all right? And it's, in fact, it's the best way for a lot of people to work backpacking uh, into their life. Um, I've, I met people uh, who were section hiking the AT over the course of a long period of time. Uh, one couple I had met had already, had, had already had finished their 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 uh, hike of the AT from start to finish. It took them 20 years section hiking 
to be able to get that done. Uh, Gary Tunis is getting ready to head out here uh, in uh, in March. I met him on the on the AT at the Punch Bowl in Punch Bowl in Virginia, and uh, he had been section hiking. He was a school teacher. Then section hiking uh, every summer started at. Uh, Started down in uh, in Georgia and was all the way up in, into Virginia when I when I had a chance to meet him. So, and now he's retired and now it's his turn and he's going to start back in Georgia and rehike all that that same distance again. So, now um, you now this might be a pro. You might not have any um, hostel or hotel expenses, except once you start where you you're having to to. Uh, Preposition from a long distance away, you may end up with actually more hotel and hostel experiences. But you're going to be staying in one before you start hiking at the end of the hike before you can drive back to your home or fly back. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and for for guys, you're not going to have any adverse effects on your body by using its own protein stores. You won't get to that point where where you're so des it's so uh, um, emaciated that you start you start uh, cannibalizing your own your own protein. All right, what are some of the cons? Um, well, your body will never get its hiking legs, and so each time you go out to start, you get to start low mileage and work to higher mileage. So the actual total mileage you get may be less than if you were, say, doing a lash. Uh, you might have a tendency to carry more weight, <clears throat> and uh, the reason why is longer hikes, you, you tend to, over time, learn how to reduce your pack weight. So you'll probably start out with more luxury items than you would if you were doing a through hike and keep them while you're doing your through hike where a lot of people might start with luxury items and eventually start sending them home okay i sent home almost eight pounds worth of gear at emma at uh neil's gap and now that includes changing out my hammock system for a tent uh, because i there were things i just knew i had to have and by the time i got to neil's gap i hadn't used them and i had all sorts of different weather conditions i decided forget it this is no it's not worth it so i sent a lot of stuff home and uh, even though I was convinced I needed it. So you, you may tend to, you know, bring those little, those little folding camp chairs and stuff like that with you when you're doing the section hikes and carry more weight. Uh, another con is you're higher, you might have higher transportation across the trailheads because you're going to be shuttling. So you, you'll probably, you know, you stop, you leave your car at the trailhead, then you <coughs> you hike hike the distance, and then you're going to have to shuttle back somehow. So you have to pay for that, either Ubers or Lyfts or, or shuttle drivers or hitchhiking somehow you have to get back to your car and so that may drive up your your transportation costs okay and uh, now this could be a pro or a con uh, you'll probably be solo if you're doing section hiking unless you bring somebody with you uh, because you know it, it, it takes a while once you start hiking to, to kind of get in the groove with somebody else and to find some people you enjoy being with and with a section hike you're probably not going to do that so if you want to be solo and you want the solitude section hiking is perfect you can do that pretty much easy if you want to go out and make friends find people yeah it's going to be harder to do that when you're section hiking all right everybody i hope this was helpful for for those who are out there thinking about what kind of backpacking they might like to get into and uh Anyway, so if you have any other, if anybody has any questions, you know, you can you can put the question down in the comments below. You can send me an email to uh, uh, bigbirdhikes at gmail.com, and uh, I can answer it offline, or I can make a video if you want. Um, there's a lot of folks that ask me kind of personal questions that they don't necessarily want to be on a video, and they do that through the email, and I'm, I'm happy to, I respond to everybody that emails me. Um, for those who, who have things they want to add, for pros and cons or to, to highlight things or just hey you know flag a mistake I made please put it on the comment section below and let's use this to grow the hiker community okay everybody <clears throat> go out there and uh, hike on sorry about all the uh, the throat stuff going on I've been uh, under the weather for almost a month now I am finally making some headway against it and uh, hope to be better soon here we do have some snow coming in tomorrow so that'll be fun all right, everybody, hike on, and we'll see you later. Bye.